a, a Terminator show, a stunt show in there. So I was thinking stunt show, stunt show, stunt show. And I get the assignment. I get the laser disc. It was in those days, laser disc. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I start watching the movie, and I realize if you really look at, at Terminator 2, and we had to make it Terminator 2 because contractually it couldn't be Terminator. It had to be based on T2. So uh, I suddenly realized it's really, I mean, Jim is amazing, but it's four incredible chases in four different places. And I'm thinking, how are you going to create that energy on stage in a stunt show? And the, 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 the breakthrough was when I got off of the word stunt show. So for three weeks, I'm trying to come up with something, and I'm going to have a meeting with Jade, and, you know, and I got nothing except, you know, because I keep thinking of the stunt show, <laughs> it's going to be some guy in a tinfoil outfit, you know, taking a shot at a very bad uh, Arnold lookalike, and it's going to be awful. So I'm thinking, oh my God, this, this is... And, uh, and then I... Um, I used to teach theater classes, so there's a book called Viola Stolen, it's for improvisation for the theater, and she had the magic if. If you could do anything, what would you do? And so, like, two nights, three nights before the deadline, I mean, Jay, I was like, what could I, okay, well, if, what if, I say, what if the, the, uh, the T-1000 could come out of the screen like that? And, and that led to what if the motorcycle could come out of the screen, which led me to 3D, which led me to a whole idea, and I worked it out literally in 48 hours. The, the basic beats, and I got with Jay and I said, well, Jay, first of all, this isn't exactly a stunt show. It'll have some stunts, but it's, it's something different. It's 3D, it's live actresses, and I gave him three, three big J-bangs, like, you know, the big moments, the motorcycle coming out of the screen. By the way, all three of those moments were in the final show, even though, you know, it was the motorcycle, it was the head coming out of the screen, and it was the, at that time, when the screens opened, it was going to be all, it was going to be all around you, you know, so... I've also learned over the years, you, you, you design something way out here knowing it's going to be pulled back, but even when it gets pulled back, what you're left with is still enough to have a great show. So anyway, that was the genesis of that, and then things like from there, we got the development. It was, a, it was difficult because uh, Karelka, who had made the movie, was bankrupt, and getting the rights was a whole thing. You had to get to Gail and Heard, and you had to get to James Cameron, and uh, uh, the best story is the Jim Cameron story, so I'll do that one, and that's it. So this, this will be good. So, <laughs> We got the approvals from Gail and Heard, we got the approval from what was left of Corelco, and everyone always said, well, what does Jim say? If, if Jim's in, we love it. If Jim, Gail and Heard, if Jim's in, we love it. So the big day comes for the gym meeting. We're in one of the basement uh, rooms of the Black Tower, and uh, it's uh, Sid Scheinberg and Jay Stein and Barry Epson and myself, and we're waiting there, and uh, Cameron's late, but he finally gets there. And we have, I mean, we have storyboards over the walls, we have every beat, act one, act two, act three, everything. And so I take Jim through the whole thing. It's probably a good 30-minute presentation through every single thing. And uh, <clears throat> at the end, Jim's just quiet. Doesn't say anything. Then he gets up and he starts looking at the storyboards. First thing he says is, these boards are pretty good. Who did these boards? It's a young guy, Greg Pro. He's a new guy, but we think he's really good. Blah, blah, blah. He goes, okay. And there was awkward silence, so I tried to, you know, you want to fill the awkward silence? I said, well, you know, he goes, <laughs> so I shut up. <laughs> And he looks and he goes, you know, when I was driving over here, I was thinking, who the, who the who these guys think they are? You know, this thing, you know, taking my property. And I was fully prepared to say, no way. Whatever it is you've done, no way. And then he went, but to say this is uh, this is pretty good. He says you got the mythology right, you got the story right. I like this whole 3D thing. I I, I like the whole thing. And then he says, not that I can't make it a little better. <laughs> well, I'd say it was uh, pretty damn good, right, guys? Thank you.